you know how I know you guys like compliments? Because a lot of you like going to the store and say, hey, can you sell me your best seller? Which to me is crazy. Like you gotta try the fragrance on, you gotta see which one you like the best. And that's how I know a lot of you like compliments. I can already see the dislikes coming for what I just said, but oh well. If it's your first time on my channel, I'm Lee. Welcome to Lee Style and Fragrance. Here, I teach various topics like men's style, fragrance, grooming every once in a while, vlogs, and I also throw a dash of confidence at you. If you're a returning subscriber, you guys are the best, but you already know this LSF fam. If any of those topics I just discussed interest you, please make sure you hit that sub, make sure you hit that notification, so anytime I drop a video, you guys will be first in line. So today, today I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 compliment monsters I have in my collection. Because I know you guys have been asking about this for a minute, so it's finally here. I'm not going to lie, it was really hard for me to come up with this list, and that's why it took me so long. And, don't worry guys, I'm also going to make a niche version. So before I get into the list, I'm going to give you guys two honorable mentions. Now, first honorable mention, Club D Nui Intense Man. The only reason this didn't make the list, honestly, I don't know if I can call this niche, I don't know if I can call this designer. If I did know what to call this, this would have made my list and it would have definitely been in the top five because this is a compliment monster and it's a cheapie. So, first honorable mention, Club D Nui Intense. Second honorable mention will be Terry D Hermes White Cap. This right here is a gem. Now, this bottle is still pretty new in my collection, but I had a big sample that I've been wearing in the summertime and it received a lot of compliments. And the only reason it didn't make the list is I didn't wear this enough or as much as I wore everything else that made my top 10 list. So it wasn't really fair for me to judge this with the other stuff, if that makes sense. So without further ado, let's get into this list. So number one, you have Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Intense. You know if the list starts off with this little beast right here, you already know this is going to be a hot list. But this guy right here is a gem. You got notes of cinnamon, apple, vanilla. So you already know this is going to be very, very sweet. But it's not sweet to a way that a man can't wear it, if that makes sense. So it's still going to be masculine, but it's going to be very sweet. It's going to be gourmandish, which pretty much just means it smells good enough to eat. I remember I used to wear this around girls all the time and they'll just be like, wow, you smell delicious. That is one of the best compliments you can get. It starts off with a vanilla opening, then you get that cinnamon. It almost tastes like a warm apple pie. This right here is amazing. You can't fail for the price point. It performs pretty well. This is awesome for the fall and the winter. So number 10 spot, you have Boss Bottle Intense. Number nine spot, you got something that people have been raving about in the fragrance community. And at first I wasn't on the hype train because I had something else, but I finally said, let me try this on my skin and my God, I am glad I did that. We are talking about By The Fireplace by Replica. This right here is one of the best fall scents that I have ever smelled. You have notes of chestnut, gaiac wood, and vanilla. So again, you're going to get another sweet scent. This isn't going to be as sweet as Boss Bottle Intense, but this is amazing. When it starts drying down, it does get sweet. So this is also a gourmandish type fragrance. It almost smells like a fireplace, just like they mentioned. At the same time, it almost has like a marshmallow vibe to it. So it's like a fireplace and marshmallows at the same time. So it's like smoky sweetness. This right here is amazing. If you haven't put your nose on it, please put your nose on this. I absolutely love By The Fireplace. So number nine spot, By The Fireplace, by Replica. Number eight spot, this is actually something that was recommended by Jeremy Fragrance. And I put my nose on it and it was love at first sniff. We are talking about Valentino Uomo Intense. This right here is a very mature, sexy, sexy scent. This actually made my top 
date night scents as well. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you check it out. You have notes of leather, vanilla, and iris. If you know something about iris, iris is a very sexy flower. It's not a flower that smells feminine in any way at all. It's a very masculine flower and I absolutely love it in fragrances. With the combination of leather and vanilla, it just makes it sweet and it gives it a really strong base. And I call this a very mature scent because I don't see kids wearing this fragrance. This is just a grown man fragrance. It's best for fall and winter because it performs amazing. This is something that I will wear when I'm dressed up. Basically, what I'm wearing right now, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm like dressed and kind of not dressed. If I'm wearing a suit and tie, black tie event, this is definitely something that I would reach out for. So number eight spot, you have Valentino Uomo Intense. Number seven, you have something that I just recently bought, and this was a blind buy, but every time I've worn this monster, I've gotten a ton of compliments. And we are talking about none other than Blue Noir by Narciso Rodriguez. You are looking at notes of cardamom, cedar, and musk. This right here is a very, very beautiful opening. You definitely get the cardamom at the top, which is a very sweet oriental spice. Then the musk and the cedar start coming up more as it dries down. And this is just an amazing journey that it takes you on. This is a very sexy scent. I would say this would probably be best for the fall because of the spices that it has. But man, this has never failed me and I see why a lot of people are raving about this. This is definitely one of my best blind buys ever. I would say top five. I would highly, highly recommend this. So number seven, once again, you got Blue Noir by Narciso Rodriguez. Number six, you have the classic Dior Ohm. E, I don't know how you say it. It's like E-A-U, I don't know how you pronounce it. I probably butchered it, I don't care. This guy is a beast right here. Summer, springtime is the best time to wear this. It is a fresh bomb. You are looking at notes of iris, grapefruit, and coriander. So it's spicy, but it's spicy in a very subtle way. The iris, you definitely get a strong hint of the iris. Now, a lot of people like Prada alone, but guess who did it first? This guy right here. There's so many people that copy the DNA of this scent and they did it because it smells absolutely amazing. This right here is a very great close encounter scent. This is something great for dates. I've gotten a ton, a ton of compliments with this for the short amount of time that I've had it because I only got this this year. So I had it for, I wanna say close to seven months. But the, t the compliments I've gotten from this guy is absolutely unbelievable. So for the number six spot, again, you have Dior Own. All right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for, top five. So as you guys see, my last four were off the chain. So if they were as good as I just showed you, you can only imagine the heat I got coming for you in the top five. And at the number five spot, none other than Dylan Blue by Versace. This right here, wow, I had this on my hit list for so long and somebody gave this to me as a gift for Christmas, so thank you so much, because this, this right here, you can never fail. It's a very easy reach, very versatile. This is something that you can wear pretty much all year round, but for the most part, I enjoy wearing this in the warmer days. You have notes of Ambroxan, grapefruit, and a touch of incense, which makes this very, very interesting. It's super masculine. It's super mass appealing. This is something that you can dress up, dress down. That Ambroxan just gives it an amazing performance and it also gives it a really sexy vibe. I absolutely love, love this scent. I feel like everybody should have Dylan Blue or something that smells like Dylan Blue in their closet because you can never lose with this fragrance. So, number five spot, you have Dylan Blue by Versace. Man, this top five was so hard for me to make because basically, when it comes to this top five, well, not even top five, honestly, I would say top four. Top four, any of these could have been number one. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these as number one on somebody's list. I'm 
pr I'm pretty sure. In order for me to pretty much make this top four, it, it was pretty much how many compliments have I received in one day? How crazy were the compliments? Like I had somebody say, hey, you're not even allowed to wear this one at work because it smells so good. And they were like following me. It was creepy, but it was sexy at the same time. I kind of liked it. So number four, this is actually going to surprise you guys. This still surprised me because it never fails when it comes to compliments. Every time I wear this, I receive multiple compliments. People absolutely love this fragrance. And it's very slept on because I feel like people don't talk about it enough. But it is Gucci Made to Measure. Yes, I said Gucci Made to Measure. You have notes of plum, juniper berries, and lavender. You even have a hint of leather in it. So this fragrance, even though it's very simple, it's kind of complex. It opens up, you definitely get that plum, which I really, really love. Plum is one of my favorite fragrances. So it opens up really sweet. Then you have that lavender base to it. It is just an amazing, amazing fragrance overall. It is very masculine. It is very mass appealing. This is something that for the most part I would dress down, but if you want to dress it up, you can as well. This definitely works better in the warmer days, so spring and summer is best suitable for this fragrance. This has gotten me compliments for years and years. I've definitely had this longer than I've had any of these fragrances in my top 10, but ever since I had it up to this day, it has not failed me in the compliment department. That is why this is number four right here, Gucci Made to Measure. Number three spot, Alua Own Sport Extreme. This right here, the first time I smelled it, oh my goodness, oh. This is one of the sexiest scents I have ever, ever smelled. And I know I said this about a couple things, but that's the reason why they made this list because these are very sexy fragrances. You have notes of mint, tonka bean, and mandarin orange. Now in the opening, you definitely smell that mint and mandarin and it smells absolutely phenomenal. When it comes to mint in a lot of fragrances, I would say this is probably the best that they have utilized mint in my opinion, of course. And tonka bean, pretty much what that does is it gives it this like very creamy base, which comes off kind of like a sweet vanilla. So just imagine oranges, vanilla type scent and mint wow 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 and the performance on this is ridiculous i enjoy wearing this more in the warmer days but this is another fragrance where i feel like can be worn all year round this is something again you can dress up you can dress down so the versatility is there you cannot go wrong with allure on sport extreme which made my number three spot number two you had one of the best fragrances that has ever been made, which is CH Men Privé. You have notes of whiskey, leather, and tonka bean. This is so, so sexy. The compliments I've received with this is, some of them I can't even say on YouTube, but just know that the compliments I've gotten on this is absolutely amazing. Wow, the whiskey and the leather, so masculine. There's a reason this made my, my top date list. And this was at the top, if not number one, it was like number two. Man, I'm telling you, you guys have to check it out. But, and I also have a full review. Please make sure you check out the full review on this guy. But this is one of the sexiest, manliest, bad boy scents I have in my collection. Absolutely love it, never fails when it comes to compliments. I've had people follow me while I was wearing this, just to know what I was wearing. That's how good this baby is. And the best time to wear this uh, fall and winter, better for the fall just cause it doesn't perform that great. But in the fall, absolutely amazing. Number two spot, you have CH Men Prevent. And now the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Now, before I talk about what fragrance this is, let me just give you a quick story. Literally from the first time I bought a sample of this, I probably received 10 plus compliments just from wearing the samples. Then when I finally decided to get the full bottle, I've had the craziest compliments wearing this fragrance. 
there's only one other fragrance in my entire collection that probably got me more compliments than this but when it comes to compliments this fragrance in my collection is unbeatable and I feel like most of you already know what this fragrance is but it is none other than Jazz Club by Replica this right here is a gem. This is vanilla, it's rum, it's tobacco leaf. There's so much depth and character in this fragrance. This is definitely a mature, grown man type of fragrance. Fall and winter is better for this. Surprisingly, even though this is a toy lead, the performance on this is absolutely out of this world. I have done a full review on this, so please make sure you check it out. But man, the compliments I've received from this. This used to be my favorite fragrance, and I bought a new fragrance recently that trumped this, which is crazy. And in order for you guys to know what I'm talking about, you have to watch the niche version of this, because of course it's gonna be on that list. But this is my favorite designer fragrance of all time. And the compliments behind it is undeniable. Number one, Jazz Club by Replica. Thank you guys so much for your patience and letting me put together this list for you guys. I know it was a little bit long, but it had to be. Like, there's no way I could just breeze past this. Thank you guys so much for showing up one more time, though. Make sure you check me out on Instagram if you haven't already. My name is Mr. Put Together. Don't forget to smell stylish. Don't forget to drop a like, a comment, share this video, and of course, subscribe. I will see you beautiful people next time. Peace.